when starting testosterone, you have to go through puberty yeah. in a matter of like two years. To fall under the umbrella of transgender, you do have to suffer from some kind of gender dysphoria. It's the thing in your brain that says, hey, so we got the wrong body, by the way. Well, I don't feel the need to change my body. I don't go through the terrible dysphoria a lot mm -hmm. of trans people do. This is what is called a tri-top. There are three layers of fabric right here, and then there's only one on the back. And this is where all of the like constrict, like you know, the, the binding and everything comes in. These right here actually dig into shoulders so badly. Like I actually have indentions. If you'll notice, like these are a lot whiter than those are. Yeah. Like some of that is just from like wearing it for so long. But like the way they do this is they have the same fabric all around, except when you get on the inside where the actual binding happens. The way that they measure for it is you have to measure like right where the breast tissue starts. And that's the only measurement you take. Where your breast tissue starts is where like, you know, the really bony muscle, like mm -hmm. bony muscle end. And so basically it's like, this is what we're binding down to. Binding can cause you to have a stroke or have a heart attack. It can also cause partial to full lung collapse. It's dangerous. That's one of the reasons why it's so frustrating when the medical community treats it like it's a cosmetic thing. It's like, no, our only other option is like quite literally destroying us. It causes rib cage deformities. It causes clotting since it's always compressing on the blood vessels. It can cause like clotting issues where, you know, circulation isn't going back into the heart, especially since it's right freaking there. Um, it just, it can do a lot of damage. There's times where I may be fine or look more masculine or more feminine one day, but it's just best just to keep up with my own appearances. It's not for anybody else. If you want to go out and be regarded as you see yourself, you do have to fucking play ball. You can't just get like pissed off at every single fucking person who doesn't know. What does upset me is when you have to like feel the need to correct yourself. You've already like classified me as what you wanted to classify me as or saw me as what you wanted to see me as. So for you to have to go back, it kind of just like irritates me a little bit because I don't really like backpedaling. One of the big reasons I don't associate largely with a lot of the community because of like just there's so much Bullshit. This isn't something that I've experienced firsthand, but the trans community in this area is weird. The LGBTQ community in this area, and mostly the trans, um, the trans community in this area, is that they, um, from what I can understand, they breed a lot of hatred for cis people, for straight people, or for, you know, anybody that's not trans. The reason the term cis was established is so that, you know, it couldn't be said, well, transgenderism is not normal. To be cisgender is to be common. Well, you're common, so that means there's more of you. It doesn't mean that transgender people are abnormal and weird and wrong. It just means that we are less common. You don't, nobody really owes you anything, you know? You're a person, you were born a person. Um, you, I suppose, don't fit into the you know, the gender norms that society has laid down, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But if you feel like you're owed something, like, show me the bill.